I'm Phyllis from the Doll Corner and welcome back to my channel. And today I want to show you how I'm going to dress the little doll I was working on the other day. So, but before we get to her, I want to ask you to subscribe to my channel, touch the bell to be notified, give me a thumbs up, anything that helped help my channel grow. And be sure and check out my Etsy shop for my, my uh, pattern book. I made the little outfit that I'm going to dress this doll from the pattern, from one of the patterns. And you'll find that there's such every, a lot of sizes in there for different styles of dolls, from girl dolls to baby dolls and fashion dolls, all the rest of them. But let's get back to the doll. So I have put long stockings on her. I, I have had these for a few years now. I used to repair dolls and I always had stockings and things for them. So then I made little slippers for her. And I made her a pair of bloomers. Also from one of the patterns. And made her a little petticoat. For the petticoat I use the bodice pattern. But I make the neck a little bit larger than I do for the dress. So that it won't uh, show above the dress. And the armholes are a little bit bigger as well. And then there's not so much bulk right around in the same places for the dress. So it's just a plain little petticoat with some lace on the bottom. And then this is her little dress. I... Uh, cut the, the yoke out of the same pattern as I do for the bodice and then I just shape it to whatever shape I want. Say I wanted a V shape there. I did just cut it and then just stitched it and then cut the back out piece of the fabric off it because you don't want the red stripe showing between through. And I lined it with a piece of white as opposed to the stripe. So we'll put this on her. And I made ruffles for around her her sleeve and around the bottom of the skirt and I took a plain piece of fabric and I used my machine to make some fancy stitches along the edge. Now you could uh, just hem the edge but I, I just surged around it. And you can see this is the ruffle I made for the bottom. And I used my ruffle foot on my machine for it. And my ruffle foot, it, uh, when I put my stitch length to five, it takes, it goes about two to one. So it takes twice as much of this as it does for the skirt. So the ruffle is a two to one. I find it works out pretty well, almost even most times. So there's her little dress. And I made her a little apron with a heart on it. 
It's just a little rectangle with the hemmed it. And then I used a piece of ribbon. Gathered the skirt in, or the apron in, and used a piece of ribbon. kind of cute and I made her a little cape and lined it all I'm always picking threads <laughs> Aw, things on the end of the ribbon, I put a couple of little beads. around her neckline. Now she needs some hair. She needs to be combed up a bit. Then I made her a little hat and I took a little hair clip put a ribbon on the back. And this hopefully will there and there she is <laughs> she's kind of cute so have almost made her a little red riding hood but she would have needed her hood to be attached to the cape and I guess I could do that but I thought a little hat would be nice so be sure and check my Etsy shop for my basic doll patterns Uh, and if you would like a book made up like this, it, it's uh, just email me and I'll leave the link for my email address below. And please subscribe. Touch the bell to be notified. Give me a thumbs up. Give me a thumbs up. Share. Leave a comment, and thanks for watching. Bye now.